I'm Jari Matti Latvala. I'm driving here in Rally Estonia with an Audi Quattro from R3 Rally Race in Drenthe from Italy. And to be honest, it, this car is completely, and not, okay, not completely, but it will be still uh, different from Polo WSE. There are similarities, but there are, uh, is that it's four-wheel drive with the solid center diff, like the Polo WSE. But then the other thing is, for instance, this is a five-cylinder engine when uh, we have a four-cylinder in a Polo. And uh, in a Polo, uh, engine is pushed backwards for the weight balance more to the center, where here in Audi, the engine is really a, a, a front of the front axle. So there's a lot of weight on the, on the front. And um, then you have a turbo here, like we have a turbo in the Polo, but it's again, turbo, po, uh, turbo is fitted back of the engine in, um, in the Polo WSC car. Um, the Audi ha doesn't have an anti-lag system, which means that basically when you come off the throttle, the turbo will stop spinning. And, uh, and uh, when in the Polo, you have anti-lag system will help you to, to, to get the turbo spinning. And this, when the turbo is not spinning, it will make the lag effect that once you go back to the throttle, the first doesn't happen anything, and then suddenly the power comes and the, the response comes. It's like a, like a big kick which you feel when the power comes. So what you need to do in this car when you are on the braking, coming to the slow corner, you have to pump the throttle to keep the turbo spinning, that you get good acceleration out from the corners. And if we, uh, then we, we can quickly have a look to the suspension. Uh, in old days, back in the 80s, you see the steering arm is, is fitted to the, to the damper. So the whole, basically the damper is moving when, uh, with the steering. But nowadays in a Polo, like the steering is, steering arms, they are in a low position and fitted to the, under the, upright so basically everything in in the current world rally cars is the idea is to try to get more on the on the bottom more closer to the to the to the ground and then more to the center of the car is that basically that it helps the the car to be more stable when it's when all the uh, things are very high the moving effect is even bigger Then if we, we go, we have a look inside the car. Well, it, to be honest, I have a Polo looks a bit different. We have, um, I have an electronic screen in the Polo here where it's saying all the details about the engine temperature, oil pressure and stuff. So now everything is mechanical because the electro, uh, I mean electronics back in the 80s and early 80s was not so uh, sophisticated yet what is it now, nowadays. But here is the speedo, basically the kilometers per hour. There is a turbo pressure, which will be around one and a half bar pressure. Uh, but I don't normally check it on the stage. Then um, you have the uh, oil temperature here over here. And then you have oil pressure, which needs to be around five bar. Um, this is a fuel pressure. Then on here is the water temperature, which is the most important thing that you have to check that the temperature stays normally around 90 degrees. It can go up to 100, maximum 110, but not more than that, because then you will cook the engine. Then this is the charging, uh, so the volts for the battery. This big red light here is telling you the warning that if the oil pressure or temperature is, is, is wrong, when this light comes on, it really means you have to stop. Then um, here I have a, this I need to use on the stage. It's a fan to, for the cooling for the engine. It's very important on the stage. And then here is a trip meter for the, for the co-driver, for the, the, for the distances. And then we also, we can see the speed. Gearbox is a five speed uh, synchro box. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth and means I have to every time use, use clutch when I go down with the gears. Which means in a Polo I have a sequential without gearbox without clutch. 
So I need to prepare more for the corners when I'm um, when I'm uh, going to the corner and getting out from there. I need to a bit more start braking earlier uh, because you, it takes time to change. And then also I have to pump the throttle to keep the turbo spinning to, to avoid the lag effect what I was uh, explaining earlier. Uh, but then inside the car you have a, I mean the space is good. It's quite, it's a big car so. It, you have a space here, so it's not very. gives you a nice, nice feeling on that sense that uh, that it's not so, not so narrow. And then we can also look a bit behind the car. Uh, obviously, we have the helmets like we have in the, in our Polo as well at the, at the back. But the one special, very speciality in in Audi is is the oil cooler. Is here. Uh, under the under the rear spoiler, I think this was introduced in in eighty one uh, because Audi was having a problems with the, with the cooling, so they realized that if they fit it at the at the bottom, and the, basically the airflow will will cool it down, which was re helping them for the to keep the oil en engine oil cooler. And then at, at the back of the car, obviously we have the fuel tank. Uh, one similarity with the Polo, this is a dry sump, uh, so the, all the engine oil will be in, the, in this, uh, this, this box, not in the, in the bottom of the engine as, as usually in the normal road cars. In the Polo, this, will be the, uh, this tank is fitted in the, on the engine room, so it's on the front. Then obviously, yeah, the fuel tank, and then you have a spare tire, and then you have, a, you have the jack. But what is a different in a historic rallying is that normally you have ser you can service after every stage, like in the old days, and that gives you a bit more opportunity that you, the drivers don't need to work so much as in a World Rally Championship where you are working with the cars between the stages. And so this is a little bit more relaxed for the drivers in the historics. But on the other hand, the car car is very hot. You don't have a roof vent where to get fresh air in the car. So physically, it's also is is hard but nice